Welcome back to the Miami Hurricanes. Oh yeah, you see it. We are in the ACC Championship game. Very cool. Uh, here is how it happened. Let me just go to ACC. So let's go back a few weeks here. We played Nevada, you know, and we got smashed. Then we came out and we beat Duke pretty handily. It was close for a little bit, but second half, uh, I was never worried about it. 600 yards of offense, good on the ground and through the air. Um, yeah, just solid game. Ronnie Salas played well. Denman with 222. He's been tearing it up. And then in the passing game, Brown caught a couple long ones. You see the the 80 long, uh, three for 163. So pretty good day for him. Austin had the other touchdown. Yeah, pretty easy win there. Week 13, another easy win, but we really didn't play very well. I was still annoyed, and I was just kind of sleepwalking through this game. But we got to win. So, you know, what more do you want? 563. It was the five turnovers. I just... Uh, I was I was over it at that point, and then <laughs> I decided to focus against Wake Forest, and it was a beatdown. We had four turnovers, still had 700 yards of offense, and dropped 66 points. Um, this was this was a brutal game <laughs> for Wake Forest. Salas six more touchdowns. Uh, Deadman had a nice day, and then Austin, the tight end, with a great day. Look at this: six different guys caught touchdown passes. Uh, Williams, one for 75 and a touchdown. That's the tight end. The the second string tight end caught a 75-yard touchdown. It was a fun game. It was a fun game to play. And that same week, the Dukies helped us out. They knocked off NC State 35-26 on the road to help us into the ACC championship game. Thank you so much, Duke. Let's check recruiting I'm we're gonna check recruiting so I don't have to come back for signing day because I already have all my recruits in so we're gonna check that I won't come back for signing day I'll just come back at the beginning of next season fair good let's do it meet your Miami Hurricanes 2020 recruiting class Nick King the athlete we looked at probably gonna be a quarterback but we'll see Russell Moss a stud cover corner out of Alabama Lance Joseph a good stud, gem free safety out of Coral Springs, Florida. Sean Miller, four star defensive tackle out of Brandon, Florida. Jerry Jacobs, defensive end, very good player out of Niceville, Florida, recruited by both Florida State and LSU as well. John Sims, four star cornerback out of Leesburg, Florida, recruited by top 10 team Wisconsin and top 10 team Ole Miss. Cedric Bowser, three-star gem receiver out of Palm Coast, Florida, recruited by the number one team in America the last three years, Georgia. Cliff Simpson, a JUCO sophomore, 69 overall, which is nice, recruited by, again, the Georgia Bulldogs, but we got him out of Jupiter, Florida. Altamonte Springs, Florida, Riley Mayo, another guy recruited by Georgia, um, and Florida as well, and Auburn. So all the SEC teams were nipping after him. We got him. He's not the fastest, but he's he's a pretty good player. So um, you know we'll redshirt him and see what happens. Brian Taylor, three-star running back out of Haltom City, Texas, recruited by Ole Miss, coming to the U. James McClellan, four-star linebacker out of Mulberry, Florida, recruited again by Georgia. We snagged him. Travis Brown, a gem outside linebacker out of Boca Raton, Florida. Florida and Auburn and Florida State all came after this guy. He is a monster. He was rated a 58, but after scouting him, you can see he is quite good. Probably going to be, um, probably going to be a defensive end, maybe a middle linebacker. We'll have to wait and see. Robert Graham, three-star out of Bellevue, Florida, recruited by Alabama. Larry Brady, three-star running back, gem out of North Miami. Good player there. Keith Carpenter, four-star outside linebacker out of Wisconsin. 6'5", 218. You see those finesse moves. He's got good power moves, too. Uh, he could very well be a stud pass rushing defensive end for us. Sean Leslie out of Huntingdon, Tennessee. 
three star free safety. I was on the free safety train because I need better strong safeties. So I recruit free safeties because they're usually faster. Joey Mooney, three star outside linebacker out of Gulf Hills, Mississippi. Reggie Golden, three star guard out of Kindale Lakes, Florida. Cameron Pace, three star defensive tackle, gem out of Garden City, Georgia, 6'6, 316, an absolute mountain of a man. Justin Henry, three star tackle out of Leesburg, Florida, 6'6, 283, also recruited by Alabama and Ole Miss. We got our kicker, Ken Webb, a power kicker out of Haines City, Florida, decent player. Earl Smith, three star tackle out of Maine, got him over Boston College. Jordan Richardson, three-star defensive end out of Alamo, Texas. David Hamby, three-star tackle out of Trussville, Alabama. And finally, Preston Cruz, a three-star receiving tight end out of Pine Hills, Florida. 6'7", 260-pound tight end with 78 speed. He's not the best rated, but those stats are scary good. There you have it. That is your 2020 recruiting class for the Miami Hurricanes. Spans rating 60 to 71. It's just a very solid class. No studs, no five stars, um, you know, no, no 80 rated guys, but we got some good players in here. A lot of needs, a lot of good offensive linemen who can be projects for the future. I'm excited. Let's look what rank we finish the regular season. Obviously, this will change after the offseason. We'll probably drop down a bit, but we were third during the regular season with 25 total commits, 23 stars, a two-star, the kicker, and four four-stars. We'll probably drop down, I would say, in the 10 to 15 range, but that's all I was going for this year, just a nice, solid class, and that's what we got. Let's go win an ACC championship. Welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. For the 2019 ACC Championship game. <laughs> I couldn't remember what it was. ACC Championship game. It's the 10th ranked Miami Hurricanes. It's the Syracuse Orange. We're getting the ball first. Let's get right into it. Start off with the run. We've been running it well the past few games, but we've really been passing it well. So it's a good mix, and we will continue that mix here in this one. Tough run on first down. No really good matchups this year. One really good matchup this year in terms of uh, champ week, champ conference championship week, and it's uh, Mississippi State, Florida State, shockingly, is the best one. Brown got him, spins away, out near midfield. Let's go. Fourth-ranked Florida, eighth-ranked Mississippi State. That's the big one. Ohio State, Illinois, elsewhere, TCU, Utah State, should be New Mexico, but whatever. And then Oregon, that's what really hurt us. They dropped all the way down to 25 after we beat them. They lost two more games, um, and that's just a killer for our resume. But we're still top 10 team, and if we win this, we will be heading to a BCS Bowl game, probably the Orange Bowl, so I can't complain. I'm feeling good about it, actually. There's Denman again. First down. Oh, Denman's hurt. Ah, he's always getting hurt. Hopefully he'll be back. He deserves to play in what could be his final game. Not his final game. I guess we got the bowl game. but Wide open. Jacques. Beautiful. I thought that safety was going to come up, but he laid off him. And... <laughs> We were just able to get it out there for a nice gain. Back spasms for Denman. He's had back spasms a lot this year. Really bad back for Mark Denman. Need to sort that out before he goes to the league. If he goes, he's not he's not really very fast, is he? But they could find some use for him, I'm sure. Goal line back, something like that. He's got some power. He's got some power to his game, so I'm sure he could find a spot in the league as a third running back or something. Short yardage type. I actually feel like Landry has more of a shot in the league because he's he's speedy, speedy and a better pass catcher. So we'll see, we'll see what develops. Third and three from the five. We're going to HB out. Uh, 
got hit as I threw. I thought he was open, though. I mean, he was open. Ah, we'll take the early points. That second and one play really killed us on the power O. Not great. Not great at all. Come on, defense. There we go. Ball right back. Ball right back. I ran this. You remember that we killed Oregon with. I ran a couple times against Duke and a couple times against Wake, and it worked really well. So we're going to go right to it here and see if we can't bust this thing open. Oh, what a catch! What a throw! And what a catch in between four guys and Jaron Austin, who, by the way, I don't know if you noticed by that stat line there, reached what I promised. I promised 50 catches. He's up to 64 now and 1,000 yards. So, bully for him. What a season. Proud of what he's able to do. He wanted to leave, uh, I guess because the offensive coordinator left, but I didn't allow that. I, I told him, look, you're going to play nine games, you're going to catch 50 balls, and he, he was like, okay, coach, I believe you. I trust you. I forgot Salas can't throw on the run. I tried to stop. He just didn't. Why are they so bad at throwing on the run in this game? Or is it just my quarterbacks? Is it just my quarterbacks? Because it's awful to watch. It's absolutely awful to watch. There it is. There it is. Denman. Denman across midfield. Inside the 30. 20. 10. 5. There we go. There we go. We were down for a second, but Mark Denman takes it 70, 83 for a touchdown just like that, and we are up 10-0. They got the field goal, tied it up. They were feeling good. Back we come. Syracuse in football. Give me a break with this. Give me a break with this. Good job, defense. Really thought someone would get to that get to that safety. I was wrong. I was wrong. Second and nine. From the twenty-eight. I want Brown on that skinny post. That's what happens when nobody picks up the corner blitz. Good job. Man, I thought that guy jumped that route and was either going to pick it or knock it down. But it got through somehow. Wow. Wow, that was scary. That was scary. I don't really have a lot to say today. This is just an uninspiring game. You know, this isn't like the Notre Dame game last year where they were top 10 and, and it was really close and good. Like, hey, Syracuse is not very good. They're seven and five. They probably shouldn't even be in this game. They just got lucky. You know, we're number ten. We're ten and two. Like we should smash them. So it's hard to really get pumped about it. Um, you know, I'm just kind of like, it just doesn't really feel like an ACC championship game. I was hoping to play Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, Virginia. You know, somebody like that. Even West Virginia would have been fun. But Syracuse? Come on. Come on. If they beat us, I'm going to sound like a moron. But, you know. It's just uninspiring. I don't know what else to say. It just, it objectively is uninspiring. First down. That's why I went with the all green. I don't like to. I don't like to mix colors. Like I don't want to go orange tops with white and white, while they go orange, uh, white tops with orange, orange. It just that doesn't work for my brain. So we went with the green. Cause we money, yo. We money. <laughs> uh. 
Second and three. Just outside the 30. What a route by Wilson. Instead of keeping across the field, he came back for it. That was wonderful. You don't see that a lot in this game, and I don't know, it might have just been a bad throw from Salas. Might have been one of those glitchy things, but I'm going to pretend that he saw that it was zone and just kind of sat down in the zone where he was open. Gosh, I am just slinging the ball in there. There have been three or four <laughs> that probably should have been picked, but weren't. I'll take it. I'm not a complainer. Let's just get this ACC title, get to the Orange Bowl, get on to next year. Speaking of next year, I mean, we have an, a great shot at a national title. I think we can all agree on that. If Ron Salas stays. Uh, I think we have one even if he doesn't stay, even if he leaves. But if Ron Salas stays, we're in really good shape next year. Receiving core will be very young. It'll be Brian Jacques uh, and Samson will be the, the one and two receivers. We'll see who else develops this offseason. But that's what it's looking like. And, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. But I expect, I expect those will be my top two. We return both tight ends for two more seasons. So we still have Williams and Austin, theoretically for two more years, though I could see Austin if he has another good year next year uh, going pro, like, because no one can stop this guy. He's an unreal tight end who just scores touchdowns like that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 77 yards. Circle was open, too, but I had already hit X when I saw that the safety was biting down on on Austin, but still got it over, still got it deep, still got a touchdown. We are well on our way to a beatdown if we can get the ball back here, which we did. We're going to go HB Choice here. I just kind of want to end this thing by halftime so I can use the second half just to run some clock and relax a bit. We got Austin again. We got him again. We got him again. We got him again. We got him again. <laughs> Oh, baby. Man, am I glad he stayed. And I'm glad I made him the starter. Williams, ratings-wise, is better. But Austin, for my offense and what he's able to do, getting down the field, it, he's, he's, he's unstoppable. And this is a beatdown right now. An embarrassment of an ACC championship. The ACC North really needs to, to, to improve outside of Notre Dame. They were bad this year, but they've been good. Virginia and Virginia Tech have been okay, too. But it's like, since I got here, it's all been garbage. And it's it's boring. Notre Dame was good last year, to be fair. They were good ratings-wise this year. They just couldn't win games. But their coach got fired. Almost certainly. I will do the coaching carousel this year. I, I f totally don't expect to leave. Because I'm expecting... He caught that. I thought he got two feet in. You out of your mind? Look. One. Two. What are we doing here? Why did they challenge that? Why did they challenge that? That's an NFL catch, dude. heck was that um yeah I don't expect to get anything I think we have a very good shot at a national title next year and I want to be here for that so okay well I didn't think that safety could turn and run that quickly I thought Jacques was about to blow by him and be open for a touchdown so it is what it is I'm just not worried about it because my defense is going to dominate these guys. I'm telling you, I'm not. This is kind of a boring game. You shouldn't turn it off, though, because, uh, eh, I don't know. Maybe you should. But, I mean, you probably shouldn't. 
Ah, oh, so you'd miss close in completions like that if you turned it off. I don't think that's something you want to do. Second and 10 from the 14. Love some more points here before the half. 34 3 sounds really nice. 38 3 sounds even better, actually. If you can believe that. We'll go hurry up on them. We'll go hurry up on them. Basically the same play almost. Same, but different. But still same. I'm going to stick with this formation, actually. I think I'll go tight end option. Yeah, yeah. But we'll go into the boundary with it. I want Williams on that wheel route, though. Got him. Got Williams. Let's go. Marching right down this field. What a season it's been. I know I am a bit of a whiner sometimes. And I, that, I know that Nevada game was a bit depressing, but it's been a heck of a year. I mean, we went up and smashed Oregon, who at the time was number one. So, you know, at that point, it was this massive win. Um, and we just absolutely destroyed them. And that, I mean, that was so much fun. And, and we, we beat Notre Dame at the la at the buzzer. We won that. You weren't around for it. But we won that North Carolina game in five overtimes. That was a blast. Beat our arch rival Florida State. Had a great second half to take down Clemson. And, um, yeah, just a really fun season. So, thanks for joining me for it. Next season will hopefully result in a national title. I've decided the series is going to end when I win two straight national titles. That's frustrating. I forgot to slide the protection. That was on me, though. Um, so two straight national titles, the series ends, or 150 episodes, one or the other. Uh, 150 episodes is really a lot, so I expect it will probably be the two national titles, but, like, we know how hard it is. We know how hard uh, I, I've made it with the sliders and such, so it very well could be 150 episodes. But I won't stop at 150 episodes if I haven't won a national title. So I will win a national title in this one way or another. Got Jack for the touchdown. About to be 38-3. to What a beatdown in the ACC title game. This is revenge for last season when we got screwed by the game. Before any I'll say something, let's just check sliders so you know. Heisman, user, all mine are normal, all theirs are normal. Syracuse is just terrible. <laughs> I tried to tell you that. I tried to tell you that. Did we get the ball? No. Well, that would have been sick. Doesn't matter. We get the ball right now. We're going deep, too. I think I might try to hang 70 on these guys. Imagine 70 in an ACC title game. Oh no, oh no. I think they knew what play I was trying to do. They came after me. Good for them. Fair play to them, fair play to them. I'm just gonna run this clock and I might just sim soon, but we'll see. No, I think I'll just play it out. We'll just play this like a normal game and just chit chat along the way. What say you? First down for Denman. Yeah, I wanna run him a bit more. 2,000. He got it. He got to 2,000. Oh, that's so good. Good for him, man. What a servant he's been. I, you know, I almost benched him at the end of last year when he was fumbling. But it was the it was the Notre Dame game that I had to replay. And the second time, I forgot to take him out, and he played really well. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, we'll leave him in. And he's had such a good season, so I'm glad uh, Glad the game screwed me, at least in that aspect, not in the other aspect. 
where I didn't win a national or a ACC title last year. Oh, what a throw! A perfect back shoulder for a touchdown. Holy cow, what a throw from Ronnie Salas. He better not go pro. So many interceptions this year, he really probably shouldn't. But I imagine 93 rated, he'd probably be a first round pick, you'd have to assume. The quarterback, when I got here, who had just graduated, he was a 97 overall, and he was a first round pick. So, 93 overall, you'd have to, you'd have to think at least a second round pick. But, who knows. He's a good player though, we know that. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Wilson, nice, out near midfield. Syracuse is playing the run like we're just gonna, we're just gonna run this clock out. Like, no. I'm going to run the ball and play it realistically, but we're going to take our shots, too. You still got to stop us. You still got to stop us. Deadman fighting off blocks or tackles. Oh, I'm losing my mind a bit today. Second and four. Front of 44. First down, inside the 40. Go a little play action, make up for the one earlier where I got sacked. Slide the protection this time. Oh, Salas, you had him! I probably should have waited for square on the backside post. He was open. He was wide open. But so was X. It's going to be a draw. I think they're blitzing six, so this could be tricky. Well, that was all right. Got four. My own lineman was blocking my path. Yeah, so the jobs I would leave for, it would just be realistically, like I don't want to live in Florida for the rest of my life. So I'm going to leave at some point. Um... Because, yeah, I don't want to live in Florida. Sue me. I think it's uh, it's too humid, too many hurricanes. Um, hey, good for you. Is that Gino Toretta he just passed? Heisman Trophy winner. Um, but I, I, I am enjoying it here. I am enjoying it here. So I plan on staying for the next few, couple years at least. But, look. If Michigan or Ole Miss came up, I would love to spend the rest of my career and retire in Ann Arbor or Oxford, Mississippi. I think that would be a real treat. So, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think I'd go back to the Pac-12. But, I mean, you're watching this ACC. It's just not great competition. Like, the Florida State game's fun. Sometimes the Clemson game's fun if they're good. Notre Dame, obviously, because they're our protected rival, so we get to play them. But, like, we've been playing Pitt. They're not very good. North Carolina's okay. NC State's decent, but they're, they're just kind of an irrelevant team. Eh, we got the ball first and goal. You know, it, it's just, it's kind of tough. And then we play Duke and Wake Forest. Like, could there be less relevant games? That was the beauty of Colorado, was outside of the Colorado State game, which really only got bad our last, our last year there. Um, our first two was a close game because we weren't very good. But outside of that... You know, every game, every game was huge. I mean, you had Texas, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, um, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and then whoever you were playing in in the West. You know, we were playing Stanford every year. We'd play either Cal or SC, who were usually ranked. So 
it was just more fun because every game was a good game. Like right now, I'm I'm having to schedule teams in the non-conference that are re I'm having to schedule like two big non-conference games because the in-conference games are so boring, and I'm I'm having trouble like finding which games to 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 put online. And I'm thinking about next year, and it's like, I mean, I have to do Notre Dame, Clemson, and Florida State, Oregon, and Nevada again if I play Nevada. We'll see. Because, like, who else am I going to? I'm not going to, like, broadcast North Carolina because we might beat them by 50. Yeah, we struggled last year, but, but we're better than them, and we might smash them this year. So it's it's tough. Like, if I were... You know, Ole Miss, I could do the Alabama game. You know, I could do the Egg Bowl one year, not do it one year. I could do, you know, A&M one year since I'm an Aggie. I have the option, you know, Auburn, LSU, whoever I'm playing in the, uh, the East. So, you know, whether it's Tennessee, whether it's Florida, Kentucky, just more options. There's not a lot of options for who to broadcast when you're playing garbage teams all the time. Williams. Yeah, I want to score one more. Let's win 66-17. That seems like fun. That seems like fun. Crowd is thinned out <laughs> as we are whipping them in every aspect of this game. That was a good play by that safety. I gotta give him credit. I gotta give him credit. He made a really nice play. So good, good for him. Good for him. He earned that interception. I didn't just give it to him. He earned it. He made a nice read. Came up on the ball, and uh, and and got it. That was a very nice play. We're gonna go one last PA clear out to see if we can hit 60. But it's the last one. If not, we're just gonna take a knee and run this clock out. Yeah, Brian couldn't go up and get it. So be it. 59 to 17. We are ACC champs. You're ACC champion, Miami Hurricanes. Well deserved. Well deserved. Proud of you guys. Proud of you guys. Good job. Heck of a season. If we win that Nevada game, it could have been different. But, I mean, they were the best team we played all year, and they, they probably deserved to beat us. So, you know, what can you do? Yeah, those guys are depressed as heck. They just got blown out in the ACC title game. Oh, their coach is fat. I feel that. Well, there you go, boys. Yeah, Ron Sal should be the... the, the most outstanding player. Oh, what? 178 and three touchdowns is fine. Like, he had a good game. But Ronnie Salas... We had 681. Ron Salas had 488 and four touchdowns. How is he not the player of the game? What a bunch of garbage. Yeah, Mark Denman had a good game, but come on. 202 for my big tight end. I love it. 7 for 108 for Wilson, Williams, Brown, and Jacques with the touchdowns. Great stuff. Great stuff. There you have it, boys. ACC champs. We'll go probably to the Orange Bowl. We'll be back for that. See who we play. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take it easy.